Hello, my name is Drew Warden, and this is a parent guide for signing your student into your Chrome browser at home. So you can have multiple students on the same browser and they won't conflict. If you go down and you go to google.com and you click on sign in, you could sign in everybody, but then they would conflict and you go to Google Classroom and it just doesn't work. So instead, click on the silhouette up at the top or where it says person one. You're going to click on sign in to Chrome and you're going to type in the district username at westsideunit.com. You have to do this several times because it signs in not only Google, but it signs into our district single sign-on in Westside. Uh, all students are the username at westsideunion.com and all passwords are some numbers. You're going to link the data and what you're doing here is you're taking the data from the school and you're importing it directly into the browser. So if they saved anything like my daughter has on their Chromebook, it will automatically appear. If you click on school links, you'll see that Think Central's there. You're going to click on Think Central. That will get you to this page, you're going to say yes, that is the student, and now you have access to your language arts program for K through five, your math program in sixth grade. You can also um, drag things directly from the school link directly into the bar, so that they they don't have to click on a folder; they can just go directly to the thing. I'm going to go to the G Suite Home, which is a place where they can get all their Google apps. But on the bottom here, you have a link to STEM Scopes. STEM Scopes is the science curriculum, the new science curriculum. Students hit that, it signs them in automatically. This single sign-on, once they've signed in the browser, it's going to be signed on for everything. I also click on Connect Ed, which is K through 5 math and 6 through 8 language arch, which is called um, Study Sync. If I click on the names, I can actually switch through people that are signed into different browsers. So if I click on another name, another browser opens up and has different links. If I go to manage people, I can actually look at the people that I have signed into this browser. I can remove or manage them that way. With multiple students, this would be a good idea.